Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you this new bait tank I just built and kind of go over everything I used and how I made it. Alright, so what we got here is a 152 quart or 38 gallon cooler from Academy Sports, the Eagle Cooler. It was roughly about $120 of tax and everything. It's about the biggest cooler I've seen in stores. It's got these nice latches. So that, that lid ain't opening. Unless you got nice little cup holders. And a little uh, ruler, inches and centimeters. Anyways, we'll pop it open. Show you what I got going on in here. I might need to turn this off so you can hear me without the splashing. Alright, the first thing I did before I did anything to the cooler is for one, make sure it fits my boat. As you see, Hank, it takes up a good bit of mine. And I also went out and made sure that the weight wasn't going to affect me too much. What I also got at Academy Sports is this 800 gallons per hour bilge pump. And I used that to feed the spray bar. So what I had to do was drill a little hole through the side of the cooler. And then pull it out and I used some marine silicone to fill that hole up. So then I had this uh, tube here. This is from one of my bait tank pumps that I had. It's like a pond pump tube, which I had a bunch of it left over still. But as long as it can hook to the uh, bilge pump, you're fine. They also sell uh, hoses there at Academy. And then I went to Lowe's and it took me a while, but I had to find this piece adapter that would hook up to this hose. And then for the spray bar, I used a 3 fourths inch so it took me, I had to end up bringing this piece into Academy to see what would fit from this tube to this elbow for the 3 fourths inch PVC pipe. So for the spray bar, all I did was just drill holes here. One on the side and one on the bottom. Hopefully you can kind of see that GoPro here. And I got these brackets and I drilled uh, stainless steel screws. These are galvanized so you know it don't want rust. You don't want to have any kind of rust in here. So I did that and also on this PVC pipe I got this end cap here and along with another bracket. I did put some uh, marine silicone in the screws before I screwed them in make sure no water gets in there. And then what else I did so I went to Academy Sports and got these uh, three inch bubble stones. They have a suction cup on the bottom of them and I got two of them. I drilled a hole through the side of the cooler just enough to fit that tubing. And I put one on this side and one on this side. But I didn't put no seal or nothing there because I'll end up probably having to pull those out at some point to clean it. And I also got another 800 gallon per minute pump for when I want to empty it. So I got this one and this was the hose that I got with the Academy and it's like 12 bucks. These pumps are 15 bucks. So when I want to empty this thing, you know, this thing's... I haven't got it completely filled here because I'm going to put some ice in it before I go catch some shad. But that's going to be... 300 plus pounds, so you're going to want to have to just empty it. So I'll just pop this in it, take the tube and set it off the side of the boat and let it pump it out. And if you want to fill it up like that, you could just do it reverse. All right, now this is the outside view. That's where I ran the bilge pump. And I also did silicone on the inside right here. So I've got it ran to this 12 volt, 27 group battery here. And this is the bubbler, what's powering the, uh, three inch air stones. I also got it at Academy Sports. And I've used one screw here just to kind of keep it right there. Now this thing right here was $36 at Academy and it comes with 10 foot of hose, these air check valves, mountain screws. It's pretty solid and the uh, connection caps are these nice huge big brass clips. The sump pump you're gonna have to do your own kind of fittings. It just comes with a cord. It don't come with any kind of connections. All right, as for the stuff, here's the uh, two bilge pumps I got at Academy Sports, the 800 gallon per minute bilge pump. They were $15. I mean, it just comes with the pump. And here's the plump pump plumbing kit. The pump plumbing kit, you know, three fourths inch. That's that tube right here. It was like 12 bucks. It also comes with a piece that you could run through fiberglass hole. And as for the bubbler, this was also at Academy, the power bubbler. It's a uh, Marine metals 
it comes with all this right here so it's a pretty good kit hopefully it lasts as for the spray bar like I said I got the stainless steel screws at Lowe's the uh, galvanized tube straps I went with one inch I had to go back because I went and got three fourths inch because you know it's three fourths inch PVC pipe but I need it bigger to go over these end caps here and as for putting the end caps on and the elbow and the adapter piece we're going to need some PVC cement this is also at Lowe's it's about nine dollars for this thing these are like five dollars stainless steel is like the screws were like three dollars Bilge pump 15 these were I think four a piece the bubbler was 36 for tax and as for sealing it I went and got this at Walmart it was nine dollars your marine silicone sealant and I used that for when I ran the wires through the cooler and when I ran them the screws into the brackets I mean yeah this one was a little pricey I'd say probably 300 you count everything but if you had some of those materials at your house also this I can't remember how much it was. It was like five dollars, but I can't remember how big it was. It was like five, six feet of this PVC pipe. It was like five bucks at Lowe's. And of course, you ain't got to use a three-fourths inch. You might want to use bigger or smaller. But I went with that size because you know it's just a little bit bigger than the bilge pump hose. But other than that, I mean, it wasn't hard to do at all. You just need to drill, just drill a few holes in your cooler. Like I said, they also have some smaller coolers. They have like 120 quarts at Walmart for like 80 bucks. And some smaller than that. But I made sure that my boat could handle 300 pounds. It didn't slow me down much more, so. And as for the spray bar, I didn't like use an exact measurement on where I just kind of try to eyeball the spaces. And I just took my drill and just drilled through. I think I used a 1 8 inch bit and just drilled through it. Alright, so we'll turn it on here again. Here's where I got it plugged into my battery. Probably need to do a little better wire management back here so I don't end up getting something snagged again. End up getting pulled out. But it is some good aeration. So now all we got left to, left to do is throw some ice in here, fill it up a little further, and then go catch us some bait. I got the, you see the waters all blue, I got the G juice and salt in there. It's hot as crap, so I'm gonna put some ice in there so they don't die. So we'll wait for this afternoon and then we'll try to get some fish in it. Alright, so I went out and field tested it out on the trip. The only thing I had to change was I had to put a filter system on to the uh, bilge pump because of the shad, you know, they're real dirty, nasty, scaly. It clogged the uh, spray bar where it wouldn't even spray out, so I had to clean it out. And I had an old, uh, well, not no, it was a brand new vacuum filter from my shop back with a wet filter so I kind of put rubber bands on it around the uh, build pump but then that made the build pump float so then I had to rubber band some weights on it so here I'll show you what it looks like got some perch in here some shad is nasty up real bad slowed me down to about 21 and a half miles from 22 so not bad at all but if you guys have any uh, questions how to do anything any comments or suggestions just make sure to leave them in the comment section <laughs>